Someone built an ancient computer over 2,000 years ago, but it wasn't us. And I'm gonna prove it to you in three minutes or less. Let's get to it. So first things first, what is the Antikythera device? Discovered in 1901 just off the coast of Antikythera, Greece, the Antikythera device is not only the world's first analog computer, but it is the most advanced astronomical clock that we have ever discovered. And here's the thing, the discovery of the artifact both shook and confused the scientific community because dating of the device places it around 200 BC, which was a time in which gears were not even a thing, and most of the world still believed that the Earth was flat. Yet, somehow, someone was able to build this. Consisting of dozens of gears within gears, each one perfectly cut, measured, and placed as to fit neatly into a less than 8-inch wooden box, the Antikythera device could do a lot of shit. Starting with the front, we find a large dial showing the 365 days of the year and a smaller dial beneath it displaying the 12 signs of the zodiac, with a rotating hand at the center of each and a rotating earth and a moon. On the side, a handle that can be turned to move the two hands to indicate, for each day of the year, the exact position of the sun, moon, and the stars, all the while accurately displaying not only the lunar phases of our moon, but when and where an eclipse was going to occur, and what type it would be. On the back, we find two additional dials except they are placed one on top of the other, they are spiraled, and they mirror the design of a modern day chronographic watch, just like this. The top displaying the metonic cycle, which is a period of 19 years that details the lunar and solar cycles corresponding with the 235 lunar months, at the end of which will be exactly repeated over the next 19 years. The bottom dial, when moved, would adjust the device so the user could see exactly when and where shit was going to take place so they could exactly plan their future shit. In addition to that, recent research has revealed that the Antikythera device could also track the exact movement of each one of the planets within our solar system, making this a highly sophisticated sophisticated, accurate as shit, user-friendly computer that could somehow store information, calculate celestial movement, oh, and by the way, predict the goddamn future. And for a little perspective on just how mind-blowing that really is, it would take another 1400 years before human hands were capable of crafting such a device, and they didn't neatly pack it into an 8-inch wooden box. Which brings me to reasons 1, 2, and 3 that absolutely prove we absolutely did not make this. Number 1 knowledge. At the time, only a handful of people knew that the Earth wasn't flat, and even less than that knew that it wasn't at the center, and lesser still had an idea of the possible layout of our solar system. And here's the thing, none of them took credit for crafting this, which highlights reason number two, ego. Think about it, you just invented, arguably, the most amazing invention ever conceived, probably spent a good chunk of money and time on it as well, so you're gonna want to take credit for that shit. Yet, no one did, which highlights reason number three, ability, because real shit, we didn't have it. Don't believe me? Kindly refer back to the 1400 year thing, the very simple truth that some shit just ain't possible, and the fact that some of the world's finest watchmakers of the day have actually adopted its advanced mechanics into their design. Now, who actually crafted this amazing device and how? Couldn't tell you, but what I can tell you is that it absolutely was not us, because at the end of the day, some shit just ain't possible, and an ancient people building one of the most advanced astronomical clocks ever conceived over 2,000 years ago, yeah, that qualifies as some shit. But hey, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. What do you think?